The percentage topic is a very important foundation for allegation, okay? You do not skip this part, okay? For you to understand allegation, you must understand the concept of percentage in terms of pharmacy or medicine, in terms of concentration, okay? Concentration can be in the form of percentage, milliequivalents, units, okay? What else? Milligrams, those are strengths or concentrations of drugs. So on this particular video, I talked about percentage and you have to know this three percentages, okay? Grams over ML times 100, or for it to be easier, grams over 100 ML. Okay. When you see a percentage, that can be converted right away into a fraction. When you see a ratio, that can be converted right away into a percentage, okay? Percentage can be weight over weight, which is grams over grams, times 100 or grams over 100 grams. And the last one, percentage may be volume over volume, which is ml over ml times 100 or ml over 100 ml. Know that the numerators are all weights or volumes of solute. All the denominators are weights or volumes of total solution. Total solution. Okay. Let me pause right there. Okay. So for percentages, percentage is a unit of strength. Okay. How concentrated. Okay. But when you see percentage, you don't always see W over V. You don't oversee weight over volume, weight over weight, or volume over volume. It's just percentage, okay? So you have to understand the concept of percentage. It is strength, okay? I understand that now, it is strength. However, know that drugs can be mixed in different forms or chemicals or active ingredients. Two solid forms can be mixed together. Say two powder forms, picture that, okay? A liquid, to dissolve a powder form can be mixed together to make another drug as well. And that powder may be dissolved fully and it becomes just a liquid form after dissolution. Is that clear? Okay. And also, it can be two liquids or more mixed together. And they form a liquid if one dissolves from the other, okay? The most common form is the powder getting dissolved by a liquid and forms a liquid solution. Is that clear? Okay. So this percentage discussed in this topic pertains to what I'm talking about, okay? There are three parts to a solution or a drug. The solute, which is the substance to be dissolved. Solute. The solvent, which is the dissolving medium. And when you combine the solute and the solvent makes a solution. Okay, I wanna get my whiteboard real quick. Solute plus solvent makes a solution. Okay, can you see? Oh, I'm on screen sharing. Okay, solute plus solvent makes a solution. Okay, solute is the substance to be dissolved, usually in solid form, powder form. Solvent is the dissolving medium which is usually in liquid form. It can be water, it can be alcohol, okay? It dissolves the solvent. And when mixed together, forms one phase liquid form solution, okay? 
So if it's a compound that's both liquid form, which one is the solute? Which one is the solvent, you think? Um, Julio, if they're both liquid form, if my solute is liquid, my solvent is liquid, I'm going to come up with a liquid form. But how do I know which one is solute, which one is solvent, if they're both liquid form? I will say that is the one that it has most. Which is which? The one that has most is what? Most volume or if it is liquid, more volume. Okay. If, okay, let me clarify. The solute is the one that's being dissolved. So it is the less quantity, the one with the lesser quantity. The solvent is the dissolving medium if they're both liquid. So it will be the one with a greater quantity, more. Okay? And then it forms a solution. Okay. Technically, we don't use solute solvent solution when we're talking about two solids or two powders. They're compounds. But for the purposes of math, so it clicks better because percentage comes in this uh, form, you can use solute or solvent or solution in your head, okay? But know that it is called a compound. A liquid combination of different drugs is called a compound, but usually we call it a solution. But if it's powders combined, you make a semi-solid like ointments and, and cream, that is a compound, okay? But for purposes of math, so the formula clicks in your head, calling it a solution in your head is fine. Let's go back now to the percentage. So if it is two powders combined, which do you think percentage does it pertain to? Is it percentage weight over volume, percentage weight over weight, or percentage volume over volume? Christian, two powders. I'm talking about two powders. Christian, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, weight over weight. Weight over weight. That will be your percentage weight over weight. But take note, I mentioned in the video that percentage will always be weight of solute over either volume of solution, total volume of solution, or weight of solute over total weight of solution, or volume of solute over total volume of solution, which means your numerator is solute and your denominator is solution, not solvent, total. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. So the formula will be for percentage weight over volume, which is the most common one. It is a powder dissolved in a liquid form, creating a solution, a liquid form. The unit will always be grams over ml. Grams of solute over ml of solution times 100 gives you that percentage. Or grams of solute over 100 ml. Is that clear? And then it moves on to weight over weight to powders weight of solute in grams of solute over grams of solution times 100 or grams of solute over 100 grams percentage volume over volume will be ml of solute over total ml of solution times 100 or ml of solute over 100 ml okay that will be how your percentage is formatted so you can use it in a formula or in proportion to another strength that was given to you. Is that clear? Okay. No matter what, your numerator will be solute, total amount of solute, and your denominator will be total amount of solution. Is that clear? Okay. Also remember, percentage can be converted to decimal. Decimal can be converted to fraction. So your strength may be given in a fraction form. One is to 30 strength. 
when you say one is to 30 strength, okay, one is to 30 strength is the same as one over 30. Is that clear? And one over 30 means if I'm talking about strength, usually would be one gram for every 30 ml. One gram for every 30 ml. It can also be one ml for every 30 ml. Or it can be one gram for every 30 grams. Is that clear? Okay, but most of the time it's grams over ml. Okay, one last thing. We're gonna go on break less than a minute. A hundred is equivalent to one whole, right? A hundred percent is equivalent to one whole. Converted to fraction, that will be one over one. Converted to decimal, that's going to be one or 1.0. You have to remember the percentage can be converted to decimal, decimal can be, be converted to fraction and vice versa. Is that clear? Yeah, okay. I'm sending you on break 15 minutes and then we'll come back for math, okay? Josh, you can leave and not come back, but start on your audio lectures, okay? Okay, it's, I'll count it as 1040. I will see you guys at 1055.